Hey guys, so we've been talking a lot lately about manual piloting. Uh, I've put up a number of videos and maybe you've taken uh, a class or two by now. And we talk a lot about uh, a term called transversal. Uh, transversal angle, transversal velocity. Uh, and this is a term that comes up a lot in EVE. It's a little bit of a complicated topic to explain. And it certainly isn't something that's easy to sort of discuss on, on like mumble and then translate that concept to something you can visualize. So I wanted to make this video today to talk about transversal, uh, sort of what it is, and, and do it in a way that you can sort of visualize what I'm, what I'm showing. So uh, what I've done here is I've set up a paint uh, window that we can sort of use and I can draw on it to sort of explain what I'm talking about. <clears throat> okay, so uh, to kind of get into the notion of transversal, I got to talk about turrets and how they work and how they track. And usually when we're talking about transversal, we're talking about uh, turrets applying damage as opposed to missiles. Uh, it still bear has bearing uh, in terms of missiles and even drones uh, kind of keeping up this transversal. But uh, generally speaking, when we bring up transversal, we're talking turrets. And so... I've got me here in my malediction, and we're going from the thorax's perspective. The thorax is trying to shoot me. And so, if you open up <clears throat> a turret uh, in-game, you sort of get this stat called tracking, okay? And it varies from gun to gun, uh, but, you know, let's let's represent that. This is, What tracking is, is the speed at which the turret rotates around the ship. And so, you know, it's basically the time it takes it to go from this point here, do a complete 360 degree spin, and get back to here. Okay? Uh, it's how fast the ship does it. And so, or how fast the turret does it, rather. And so, let's say that this, these blue lines represent the tracking speed of the turret. The turret can conceivably start here and get to here fast enough that if I'm still in this area when it gets to here, the shot's going to land. Okay? And so I don't want to be in here. And like we've talked about in uh, kind of previous videos and, and things, uh, approaching a ship is usually uh, a suicide mission because you're diving straight in. If I, just, if I just took this line here and dove straight in on, the, on this thorax, yeah, I'd get there really quickly, but you can see that this doesn't matter, this distance between here and here, this turret tracking doesn't matter, because the turret doesn't have to move side to side at all. It just shoots. It just shoots straight. And so this is a bad idea if I'm getting in on a ship. However, uh, if I want to keep up or get out of this, this little uh, kind of shaded blue area, as it were, uh, as quickly as possible, this line is probably the fastest line to do it if I move laterally, side to side. And so what this is, this here, this line, represents our transversal angle. It's the distance between here and here, okay? And so that's uh, part one, your transversal angle. Part two is the transversal speed. And this is the, the time it takes you basically to get from this point here to this point here, or the velocity at which you do it relative to this ship. And it's not really a fixed number where I can say, you know, oh, you always want to have like a thousand transversal, because it varies from ship to ship, engagement to engagement. Uh, it depends on if this thorax has blasters or rails, what kind of skills it has. Uh, it varies on what my goals are. And so when we talk about spiraling and keeping up your transversal, what you're trying to find is the angle here between these two points that is optimal. And I usually advise starting at a 45 degree angle, which is roughly this line here. Uh, you're still closing the distance, uh, and this still lets you keep the range that you want. Because when you get out to here, yes, you're safer because, you know, you're moving almost perfectly perpendicular to the to the ship uh, but you're also further away you know this distance to this distance is a lot bigger than you would think and so uh, it's definitely longer than this distance here which is you know where you want to be so let's say we're trying to hold this ship out at point range you know roughly this 30 kilometer mark and we're out here you know halfway between 
50, you know, that roughly 60 kilometers, it looks like this 50, that's 75, so, you know, we'll, we'll call it 60 to be safe, and we want to get to 30. So, usually I would say, you know, you start your spiral, and you just kind of move at this 45 degree angle uh, for a little bit here. And you can see that it's kind of the, the middle ground between getting out of this shaded blue area where the ship tracks really well, or where the turret can track and hit you, and closing the distance that you want. And generally, if I were to draw out like an optimal spiral, you could then, you know, like this is now where the gun is pointing. And then I would say you get another, you know, you, you would double click again. This would be where you double click and you'd close the distance. And now you're where you want to be. And you've kept up a roughly, you know, like a decent transversal, a good 45 degree angle. And, uh, and, you know, you're staying out of the field of fire from the turret, see? So the turret would start here and here, and then these lines would move to here and here, and then they'd move from here to here, and still at the end of the day, you're out of that field of fire, you know, as, as time would go. And so when we talk about transversal, and we talk about transversal angle and velocity, what we're talking about is this, this distance. So this would be zero transversal, this would be maximum transversal, and, and, and basically the distance between this line here and wherever this line that I have now uh, is going. And so, uh, you know, when you're trying to do uh, combined range control with staying alive, uh, you can go wider, and it's safer, or you can go closer, and you get to the range that you want faster. And that's, that's in a nutshell, what transversal is. It's this, this angle here and the speed at which you get to the point where my mouse is. And it's the, you know, it's, it's trying to keep you out of the field of fire of the turret, or keeping you in this zone for as short a time period as possible. And so hopefully this sort of clarifies what we're talking about when we talk about transversal, uh, and it helps you better understand manual piloting. Uh, as always, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to message me in-game or in Slack, and thanks for watching.